Hi there everyone, uh, welcome back to another little painting demo. Um, I did an oil painting a year or so ago and this is a, a print off of it, a really bad print off. My printer's playing up at the moment um, but I've got a picture on my computer I'm working from. This is just to show you the image. Um, I'm going to have a go at it today painting a as a watercolour um, and see how it turns out. Oh, it's, a, it's a lovely sunny day and I'm going to really try and make it sunny and vibrant and uh, colourful. So we'll have a little go at that. I should have actually st stretched my paper before I started painting but I'm going to have a go without it stretched. Um, I'm going to start off on my mister bottle so I want to keep the wash moving down the page. I'm going to start at the top of the page and I'm going to get as much colour as I can in uh, in one wash. In one wash. Um, that's including putting colour in for the boats, um, making sure I preserve my highlights, my whites, I want to leave those behind um, and get as much down as I can in one go but the water will keep that moving, will keep the paint moving for me. So we'll start off by spraying a bit and the, the paper will cockle quite a bit I'm sure. Start with some uh, blue up in the sky, let that work its way down maybe a little bit of magenta colour in there. Then I'm going to take some warm raw sienna and I'm going to kind of come in here with it. Water running across here. Put that slightly magenta. Water running across here. I'll be careful now. I don't want to mix too many of these colours together. I want to keep them separate. See if you mix them you end up with a lot of greys. At the moment I want warm colours. Nice warm the way around the page. some nice shadows here I'm going to put in now. I've got to be careful not to have these colours too watery now because it will create horrible blooms on the paper. We don't want that. Mix it a bit. Just put the bulk of that in now. hardly any sort of just mixing colours together warm and cool colours together I'm not going to be painting too much detail I'm just blocking it here with some cobalt blue and some light red. 
gives a nice sort of uh, rich dark colour and a bit of raw sienna at the bottom as I come down the bottom of the page to make it a bit earthier and I'm just going to lift out where the windows are just like that just darker colours of what I've already got there darker mixes Don't want all hard edges. Like I'm put, I'm painting that window into the wet wash, and I like the diffused look it gives around the edge. But as I move closer to the sunlight, it will be it's drier, and I'm getting slightly harder edges. And this is again as using wet and wet technique. It's kind of I've created a wet area, then I'm painting up next to it, letting the edges slowly run into each other. Go back to this area that was too wet a minute ago and see if I can now get that in. It's probably a little bit too dry now, but <laughs> you'll have to take dry brush in on them. So this kind of makes this it all a bit more solid. Just lightly putting in, just on my painting where I can see the shadows. That wash dries, I want to drop a bit of colour in because there's things going on in there but you can't quite make up what they are because it's deep in shadow so now's the chance to get that sort of dryish brush and just indicate them scratch them in if you like with pigments of uh, different thickness and different consistencies I mean really and I can sort of see patches of colour in there so I'm just muting down colours I'm just dropping them in. So I'm just going to mix them up. And just put a little bit of blue in the mixture just to dull it down a bit. So it's not quite as intense as it goes around the side of the boat. Now I want to get, before that dries, just to bring that through. Like so. And then I'm going to get my rigger and I want that to run into the paintwork. shadow that comes out here in a minute. So 
So I'm basically just trying to keep this as loose as possible. Just down that side. Bit more blue in that mixture. Just to it is. If that makes any sense. Okay, I'm just uh, putting a few sort of final touches to the painting now. I'm quite pleased with it. It's, it's nice and loose. It's what I wanted. Um, yeah. Don't want to start fiddling too much. back into that mast a bit add a bit more colour to that there we go and anyway thanks ever so much for watching um, please like and subscribe if you enjoy it and come back for more and uh, check out my Facebook page because lots of updates on there regularly um, yeah there'll be lots going on and there's also my free watercolour course uh, just need to check out how many of the subscribers are going to be active and we can open that up again for subscriptions so uh, yeah thanks so much for watching bye for now